2024 Porsche Panamera 4 Redefining Versatility in a High Performance Sedan The Porsche Panamera stands in a class of its own, blending the characteristics of a large luxury flagship, a nimble sports sedan, and a grand tourer. For 15 years, it has successfully juggled these roles, and with the introduction of the third generation model, Porsche has delivered the best version yet. The latest Panamera boasts a refreshed exterior, an upgraded interior with a new infotainment system, and a fully digital gauge cluster. The center console has been streamlined for simplicity. Both the twin-turbo V6 and V8 engines return, refined to meet Europe's stringent new emission standards. The hybrid variants have been enhanced with a larger battery and a more powerful electric motor. While active suspension is available on the Panamera hybrids, the standard models come equipped with air springs and new adaptive dampers. Though the entry-level Panamera offers rear-wheel drive, the model featured here is the Panamera 4, which includes all-wheel drive. Priced at $111,795, it houses a 2.9-liter twin-turbo V6 engine that generates 348 horsepower and 368 lbft of torque, slight improvements over the previous model. The well-equipped version tested here comes in at $142,240. However, the Panamera 4 might not be the ideal choice for everyone. It's an intriguing vehicle in many respects. Porsche aimed to enhance both ride comfort and handling with this new Panamera. While the optional active ride suspension provides the greatest range between comfort and sportiness, the standard suspension setup performs impressively. In all the essential ways, the Panamera 4 still feels like a true Porsche. As usual, Porsche nails the driving dynamics. In normal mode, the Panamera's ride quality rivals that of top-tier luxury sedans. Switch to Sport or Sport Plus modes, and it defies expectations, handling with surprising agility for a car that weighs 4,374 pounds, despite lacking active anti-roll bars or other advanced chassis features. The new dampers adjust more quickly, and the air springs provide a smooth, controlled ride without the usual floatiness associated with air suspensions. The steering in the Panamera is superb, not quite as tactile as an old 911, but the way the weight builds and releases feels perfectly refined. No other large luxury car steers this well, except perhaps Porsche's own Taycan. The brakes are equally impressive, providing excellent stopping power for a vehicle of this size while feeling precise and responsive. The Michelin Pilot Sport S5 tires offer relentless grip, enhancing the driving experience. These are the details Porsche excels at. You can sense the engineer's dedication to perfecting every aspect of the car. While Porsche vehicles command a high price, this meticulous attention to detail is exactly what you're paying for. As a luxury vehicle, the Panamera is also top-notch. Despite the huge 325-30ZR21 rear tires, road noise is surprisingly low. Unlike many luxury cars that feel increasingly cheap inside, the Panamera's interior matches its price, delivering a premium experience. However, the digital gauge cluster feels like a step back. I miss the analog tachometer. Now, here's something I rarely say in today's era of high-performance cars. I wish the Panamera 4 had more power. The engine, while smooth and torquey, lacks character, and often in normal mode, when you press the throttle, it leaves you wanting more. Switching to sport mode helps by keeping the transmission in lower gears, ensuring the engine stays in its power band, but it comes at the cost of fuel efficiency. On New York's crowded highways, a quick burst of power is often necessary, and the Panamera 4 struggles to deliver. Even on a winding back road, driving the car hard, it doesn't feel as quick as expected. While its 4.7 second zero to 60 miles per hour time looks impressive on paper, it feels underwhelming in practice. Given its base price, and especially the as-tested cost, it falls short in terms of power. For comparison, the BMW M850i, while not as engaging to drive, offers a 523-horsepower twin-turbo V8 at a lower starting price than the Panamera 4. I think the Panamera would really benefit from the added kick of the e-hybrid's electric motor, even if the whole system increases weight significantly. Engineers call it transient response, the thing that happens the moment you hit the throttle pedal.
unless you're in the right gear, the Panamera 4 could really benefit from some instant electric torque. It's a shame because usually Porsche base models are something of a sweet spot in the range. You get the essential goodness of the fancier trims, but at a lower price, and generally, they feel powerful enough. That's not the case here, as it is with, say, a base 911. And while power and speed aren't everything, it's not unreasonable to want a $100,000 plus Porsche to feel quicker than something like a BMW M 340i. Thankfully, the Panamera 4e Hybrid is only $6,300 more than the Panamera 4, and the hybrid system adds more than 100 horsepower and LBFT, while shaving 8 tenths of a second off the zero to 60 time. That seems like a worthy trade-off for the expected improvements in fuel economy, plus the option for all-electric driving. Though, we're curious if the extra weight spoils the excellent handling. The new Panamera is a great car. Superbly built, luxurious and it handles like you expect a Porsche should. I just take a strong look at the hybrid before committing to this Panamera. The 2024 Porsche Panamera 4 offers an engaging blend of performance and luxury, embodying Porsche's signature driving dynamics while catering to a broader, more versatile role as a four-door Grand Tourer. Under the hood, it features a 2.9-liter twin-turbo V6 engine, delivering 348 horsepower and 368 LBFD of torque. This power is distributed to all four wheels via Porsche's all-wheel drive system, offering improved traction and stability, especially in less than ideal conditions. While these power figures are modest compared to some of Porsche's other models, the Panamera 4 still provides a solid zero to 60 miles per hour time of around 4.7 seconds. This is quick enough for most situations, though it doesn't have the outright punch of higher performance models in the lineup. The Panamera 4 excels in its ability to offer smooth, responsive power delivery, ensuring a refined and comfortable drive during daily commutes, while still being capable of spirited performance when desired. The handling is where the Panamera 4 truly shines. Porsche's precision-tuned chassis and steering make this car feel far more agile than its size would suggest. The standard adaptive air suspension, coupled with new adaptive dampers, allows for a finely balanced ride, absorbing bumps while maintaining sharp handling characteristics. Even though it weighs over 4,000 pounds, the Panamera 4 maneuvers through corners with remarkable poise and minimal body roll. The combination of all-wheel drive and the Michelin Pilot Sport S 5 tires enhances grip, ensuring confidence when pushing the car through twisty roads. For those looking for a bit more dynamic range, the available active ride suspension further enhances the balance between comfort and sportiness, providing sharper handling in Sport Plus mode and a more cushioned ride in Normal mode. The brakes are typically Porsche, strong and precise, capable of bringing this large sedan to a stop with ease and confidence. While the Panamera may 4th not have the explosive acceleration of its higher-powered siblings, its performance is well-rounded. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe if you like videos like this. Thank you.